fifth exit onto Ardwick, Green South, A6. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm in Manchester with JC Cars again. There is an, is that an original SA, Jordan? Yeah, Audi SA D2. Audi SA D2 with an S8 plate. Very nice. I don't know what we're going to spot in Manchester. I don't know if it was even going to make it to YouTube. But, uh, yeah. So after that A45 you just see him just further down there and a random C-Class telling us that he likes this M2. Um, we've got a nice M2 competition here. This is like the second M2 comp we've seen today. We didn't get the first one on camera but I've just got a massive love for these cars. This is what it should have been from the start of the M2 with the N55 in it. Obviously this has got the S55 in it but I do prefer the N55. But it's got the M mirrors you know and the lovely wheels. It just sits better, new front bumper. But, uh, yeah, really nice. Got an absolute stunning SVR here in a really nice green. And I'm not too sure, but I think I saw this last night in Preston whilst I was with Jordan. And I think me and Jordan saw it last time he was down in Preston as well. Uh, we, see, we saw it in Alderley Edge last year, and I was actually down in Manchester a month ago, and I saw it in this car park. Yeah, it's really nice. Got an E92 M3 down there as well and a M4 and a CLA 45 which we're going to take a look at in a sec yeah Manchester's just busy tonight as always to be fair so here we have Joe's C63 I'm just guessing it's Joe by the ridge um, this one's got red badging all the way around and all blacked out it's really, really mean. This car park is really promising in Manchester. To be fair, it's always promising in Manchester. Got the red badger on the side there as well. On the wheels, and on the front as you'll see in a sec. Yeah, I really like that. Fan of those wheels. This one's also got all, um, it's got a carbon uh, side skirt. Also a different, it's a bit of a beefier diffuser. It's also got a... Uh, carbon boot spoiler. Yeah, you can also tell it apart by the subtle little competition badge in it. So one of the highlights of Manchester so far for me is this brand new BMW M5 competition. And we've seen a few normal M5s, the F90 version today, but no competitions. Now I actually find these competitions to be more like common than the normal M5, but this is only the first one we've seen today. And I absolutely love this car. Like, look at that spoiler as well. I think that is a different boot spoiler, but it must be absolutely rapid. I've actually experienced the normal one, and yeah, it was pretty fast. But uh, and that's in combo as well. With this nice continental. We are on the bottom floor now, so I'm guessing there'll be nothing else in here. So we're going to head outside into the busy, busy Manchester world and uh, see what we can see outside because we can hear some cars. We have seen quite a lot already so far, but just not been able to get that on camera. So yeah, let's head on. We're just under the car park just off the easy uh, We've got this nice McLaren 570S. I'm not too sure, but there's an R8 used to park here for many years. I don't know if the uh, owner's upgraded to this, but it's in the same spot. I could be wrong, but it just could be a coincidence. So it's got the yellow on the inside as well. Oh, yeah, very, very nice. Right, so some of the little side street in Manchester, we've just got this brand new G63. 
Um, and in front of it we have the old G wagon, but that's not an AMG, this is. But yeah, we've seen quite a couple of the new G63s today, I'm a big fan of them. Uh, but it's quite cool to see these two both parked up together. It's a shame this is not an AMG, but uh, oh well. That looks really, really cool, really like them. Yeah, look at that for a combo. So cool. So here we have a Lexus LC500. This is only the second one I've ever seen, and the first one up close because the one in Wakefield that I saw had been uh, covered by many cars. Look at that interior. These are really cool. Look at that looks really, really nice. Yeah, so here we have a Audi RS7 Performance, random in the Hilton Hotel. Um, this is probably going to be the last spot of Manchester. If I do see anything else, I will put it be uh, well after this clip. But uh, this RS7 is nicely wrapped and debadged. Also, it's got some nice red bits on the front of it. But yeah, we've not seen any RS7 for a while, and then two just randomly pop up. That is absolutely stunning. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If I don't obviously see anything else, subscribe, share, and like for more videos like this, and I will see you guys very, very soon.